All right, guys. Welcome back. Another episode of the Free Experience. Doing a little something different today. Fishing the Delta. Really excited. Going out there with uh, Delta Bass and 209. Give him a look on the YouTube. Really great angler. He is a master of the Delta. He is a, like the best bank fisherman I know from the Delta. He, for some reason, could just slay fish every time we go on the Delta. So today, hopefully, it won't make a difference today. So. I was supposed to leave my house about 5.30, 6 o'clock. It is 6.30 right now. I'm late. So I'm heading all the way to Manteca, picking him up, and then we're gonna go 15 minutes into Stockton, or something something like that. We're going into Stockton, gonna fish there. I have, uh, bring four rods, uh, uh, you know, a jig with a uh, sweet beaver on, black and red, of course. Uh, spinning rod, 10 pound braid, uh, with a six inch Cinco, then I have an X-Lite crankbait and bluegill, and a for top water I have my 74 Saint Croix uh, with 65 pound braid, rocking uh, a whopper plopper, the 90 in a emerald shatter, like greenback shatter something. I'm gonna have that on, and then uh, hopefully tying a frog. Hopefully get some fish on frogs. That'd be really nice. So I'm going to McDonald's right now. I'm gonna get some to, some like a little bit of food and something to drink. Stay tuned, guys. Well, I walk into the room Passing out hundred dollar bills and it kills Alright guys, welcome back. Another episode of Fray Experience. Four rodding it, four reeling it here with Delta Bass and 209 and there's no water. I'm just kidding. So we're out here fishing the Delta. Seems to be high tide. I see some mats I'm gonna go throw on. There's some trees that Tim's probably gonna go throw on. We're gonna get our way down real quick. I am not the nimblest guy in the world. All right guys, so we're here. Tim's on the first one right here. You guessing on the jig? Yep, football head. Football head, what color? Uh, it's the... Brown uh, and purple? Green pumpkin Oh, green pumpkin. Green, green pumpkin crawl. crawl, that's a nice one too. Mine was probably about that size, maybe a little smaller. Tim definitely is on it. I'm hoping there's a jig bikes. I like throwing a jig. And uh, Tim's throwing a red rail trap, I'm throwing... Uh, Tim, is that a real rail trap? Uh, okay. So, um, I'm throwing the X-Lite right here. The only, uh, my last crank, actually I have, I have four of these in this color. And I initially only bought two, or one, and the other ones came in the mystery tackle box. So, uh, shout out to X-Lite for taking the opportunity to get in there to, to uh, get in on that uh, mystery tackle box. And, uh, There's one, Tim. Crankbait. He's all right. He came off and he swatted it. He came off and I rehooked him. Right there, guys. I was just about to say I don't catch him on this color. There's a good one right there, guys. You just lose one? It's right here. First reaction bite, reaction fish of the day. Hopefully get some more right here on a crankbait too. This was initially not the color I was gonna work with, but I, I have, this is like, this is the only ones I have from Excite and I just placed an order in, so you guys could look forward to a uh, an unboxing. But uh, bluegill pattern right here. Not my favorite one by Excite, but it is, uh, it's a good color. It's a good picture of this guy. He is, uh, he's fat though. He's not very big, but he's pooping right now got on my hand so he is probably around that two pound range he's fat he's a little guy but he's fat look at that release real quick and there he goes right there guys we are I have both my rods in or all three of, I brought four rods okay let's start off with that and I got three of them 
on my back right now. And we're gonna catch one, hopefully on a crank. There's one! Called it, guys. Literally called it. On the crankbait. This is, yeah, crankbait fish right there. Let's spin them on up here. Little fish, little fish right there on the crank. Bluegill pattern for the win. We're gonna get this bad boy a picture because you know he's a he's a he's a toad. Get the bait in the picture because you know that would suck because he just came off too. Look at that, perfect little guy. Came right off too. Perfect. He came right off the bank too. I made some castle fish. It's like nothing but rock right there. I must have flipped down into a uh, little bit of a pocket. Oh God! <laughs> I didn't know I had him. I saw, huh? Jig. Ow! I, I saw my line move, dude. He must have got it on the fall. It's not even in his mouth. It's on his side. Little guy, guys, right there. You guys see where my bait went? Right there. That is like definition of like luck right there. Barely in the water. So I like throw some red and black, or black and red. So it might be done. So I have one, I think I have one uh, raptor tail, or raptor, yeah, raptor tail in a black, or watermelon red that I'm gonna have to put on right now by x -Side. I wanna start. Boat. There's one. He's running at me. It's a giant. It's a giant. It's a toad, man. It's a toad. Oh God, in the gill too. Well guys, I figured out what was in this little bit of the, this little area right here. It's these monsters. There he goes. The man, like, you know, you like, how do I explain it? So like, like everyone base like is taught how they fish. Like, you know, everyone like how I was taught by my dad and my dad never threw fire tiger. So I have no faith in it. And I'm not saying, there's another one, little guy. It's a giant. Oh God, <laughs> Tim, it's a giant. Right there again in the egg site right there. Don't do it. Not even, I can't even lip him. I'm really scared he's gonna, you know, get some hooks in me. There's one hook out. Get my, oh, there he goes. All right, guys, we are back in action. We went and stopped and got some food, the whole nine yards. And uh, some nice tree right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, throw a sinker around it, but not just any sinko. We're putting on a real sinko, not this sticko. We're gonna put on the good old Gary Yamamoto three-inch sinko, because we all know that catches fish. If you guys seen my videos before? I think I, actually, I think I deleted that. I don't think I, was, I didn't make a very good video. I just caught a lot of fish, but they're all really small. We're gonna go ahead and throw the sinko around. See if we can pull the fish off. This is a Reinsure this day. Hopefully, it'll get a little bit better. All right, guys. So after getting caught up in this tree a couple times, we're gonna make a real good cast. Hopefully, an okay cast right there. This is a, this area. I, I guess gets. Oh, he had it. I got bumped. Already first cast over there. Oh my god. Tim, I got bumped already. Yeah. Got one. Oh, dude. Oh my God, dude, there's a, there was a, there was like a three pounder chasing him. Oh, huh? Yeah, the three inch. The three inch Yamasinko or the Yama something. Come let this guy go over there. But they're eating. They're hitting it, but they're not eating it. Ugh. 
There's one. It's a crappie. Oh, hey Tim. Yeah. Shell cracker, dude. Yeah. yeah, that's what must have been eating it. Hi right, guys, nice little shell cracker right there. Or red ear, whatever you guys, whatever you guys call them. I know they call them on the different areas, call them different things. They call them red ear or shell crackers on the delta. But in the main, in like the lakes, they call them red ear. There's one. Little guy. Nice. Dude, his mouth's all red. Little guy on the crank. In the shade too, guys. That's what seems to be the pattern right now. Tim just caught one on the crank or on a jerk bait, and he lost his jerk bait. Now he's switching over to a brown trout pattern for the Delta. Hey Tim, you got the pliers on standby? Ah, don't worry about it. I got it. I think I'll be able to get this guy out. Tell me, it's not looking like the same fish you just caught. It does not. It does. I think it is. Oh, yours is. Oh, he's bit me. Same size. Same size, but dude, this guy—he's all—he has red fins and everything. Huh? We'd like to get in there a little bit in the shade more. In the shad. There's one. Yep. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah, it's a good one. He's running in the bank, dude. What the hell? Oh, yeah. I need, I need to chase him. I need to chase him. Here, let me see. Start recording? Yeah. It's a striper, dude. I think it is. Might be. Oh, it's a big oh, old bass. A big bass dude. Nice bass. Nice. That's how we do it. Oh yeah, right there on top. Oh god. That's how we call a chunky right there. Well, there's our big one for the day. Eating on bait fish, and he messed up and ate that X like crankbait right there, guys. Get the release. Guys, gonna get the release of this guy. He's easy. He's two. Easily. He's fat, chunky, whole nine yards. Gonna let him go. That was a striper at first because of how he was running, but definitely get the release of this guy all nice. There he goes. All right, guys, just dropped him off. Gonna do some outros now from now on because people. Left a comment saying, why don't you do an outro? Well, I'm doing an outro now. So, guys, this has been another episode of the Frank Experience. Overall, it was a fantabulous day out on the Delta. I got to do what I love. I got to throw a jig in the morning, catch some fish. Got to catch some ones on the Cinco. Uh, got to catch got to catch a, uh, a shell cracker on a Cinco, which is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys will get to see that. Um, got to catch them on the crankbait, which I love throwing a crankbait, especially with the Frank Experience number one sponsor being uh, Excite. And uh, hopefully we'll have a new rod company coming in. Uh, gonna drop the current one and gonna pick, hopefully pick up a new one. Uh, gonna keep it a surprise till then. Uh, they're, I'll give you a hint, they're, uh, they're out of Gunnersville, Georgia. I think it's Georgia, Gunnersville, Georgia. Uh, some of you may not know it, they're uh, not that big, but I, want, I like their rods. I got to test them out a couple times. Uh, through my friends, of course, and I really like them, and I think they'll be a great asset to uh, the Frey Experience. They make a wide variety of rods, uh, uh, not wide variety of rods, but a wide variety of uh, sizes, which I do like, because, you know, I like throwing seven, seven foot plus rods, and they make them, they're very stylish, and I do like that. Um, they make them in cork. I'm not a huge fan of cork, but the cork that they have it on is a lot like the, um, the ones that the Ledger's Extremes are have, that I have which are a nice smooth cork, um, really nice to hold in your hand in the whole nine yards. And uh, I do like that. So this has been another episode of Frey Experience, guys. Stay tuned for hopefully I'll be going, tomorrow's Labor Day and hopefully I will be going uh, fishing tomorrow on the Delta again with Tim. So guys, stay tuned. This has been an episode of the Frey Experience.